What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So I wanted to talk about stimulus. It's crazy what they're actually saying right now. You got experts saying um, weird things. You got uh, Joe Biden talking about things. You got a lot of stuff, a lot of things happening. Uh, no real movement. Uh, we'll continue to see what the real movement is uh, when it comes to the stimulus, uh, third stimulus that is. But before I get started in this, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more videos like this one or any other video that I post. Also, check out some of the links down below, get your free stocks with Webull, and um, check out some of the credit card links. So I wanted to talk about the $1.9 trillion bill that Joe Biden has proposed. Um, it really didn't move anywhere yet, but economists are not really taking this um, positively. They're not. I mean, you look at it and they're taking one portion of this bill and saying that it's not something that will work. It will, it's not something that will help the economy. And mainly, it's stimulus checks. They're saying that um, the main portion of this bill are stimulus checks. And that, according to economists, that's the least effective way to help revive the economy. The least effective way to help revive the economy. They're called stimulus checks. The way they work is they stimulate the economy by spending the money in our economy, in our businesses. Um, they're forcing us to spend it in corporations instead of small businesses, but we're spending it um, at businesses regardless, which is fueling our economy. This is why our stock market is is booming, because we're spending it all in these corporations that flow through the stock market rather than these small businesses uh, that are right down the street from our house. So the added stimulus is born out of widespread support among congressional Democrats and many Republicans, including outgoing President Donald Trump to increase the direct payments. They're saying that $600 is not enough. And we've been saying this since it was released, since they said, all right, it's gonna be a $600 stimulus check. That $600 is not enough for people. They have to choose between um, paying rent or paying for food. Like if they're doing that, then that's not helping them. Why do they have to choose between all of their different bills? And it's not only about rent and food, you also have to have heat, especially if it's if you're in like Pennsylvania or you're in like a, a cooler climate, then you need heat right now. Um, I wouldn't say that you generally need air conditioning, um, but you need heat right now, you need electricity, um, and people don't have that option as well. So it's not only about getting food, you know, you're trying to give people food for the next couple of months, but then their electric bill is a hundred, two hundred dollars. So six hundred dollars goes towards food for two months, or you have electricity or heat or paying your rent. Those things. It makes no sense. So what's what's crazy is this is it, the stimulus checks are not going to stimulate the economy if people are using it on bills. So I don't know why economists would say that stimulus checks are supposed to go towards the uh, businesses that don't normally get money. That's why you stimulate the economy. So for the people that don't actually need it, it makes sense that they would get it and spend it in the in businesses. What I'm saying is that if you do get the money and you physically don't need it, spend it. Either give it to somebody that does need it or spend it in one of those businesses that they want you to spend it in. So Walmart, Target. Um, I don't know, Dick Sporting Goods. Spend it somewhere that will stimulate the economy if you don't really need it. And I understand how that sounds. There are people out there that really need the money. Um, but they can't sit here and predict that it's going to people that don't need it. You can't isolate any groups and say that only unemployed people need it. So, um, so Joe Biden is saying even for the people that have kept their jobs, this is very important. They still need it. And that's 100% true. According to economists, they're basically saying that it's going to people that don't really need it. So I look at somebody, let's say they were making seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 a year. They got let go from their job in April or maybe later down the line, they got let go from their job in June because, you know, obviously you had to shut down and this business waited to, to shut down, whatever. I don't know the details of that because it's a hypothetical situation. You know what, for the sake of the details of the bill, let's lower that down to $70,000 just for the sake of the bill because the bill is at 75. So um, anyways, let's say they made $70,000 and they lost their job in June and now they went a number of months without uh, paying any bills. Are you saying that they don't need it because they made $70,000?
people need it at all areas, at all points of you know your financial situation. If you're homeless, if you had thirty thousand dollars a year, if you had fifty, if you had seventy thousand dollars a year, there are people that really need this that lost good paying jobs because the pandemic shut them down. Stimulus affects more people than you know. So these economists are definitely wrong. And they're basically saying that the main issue that they have with this is that people will not spend the money. They, they're not, they're going to take the money, put it in their bank account, put it in an investment account, whatever they're going to do, the people that don't need it. Uh, you do have a majority of people that are not going to spend the money right away. And that's because they're going to save it for a dire situation. People aren't stupid. They're not going to go out and just spend all of the money that they have if they know they're in a horrible situation. They're going to save it to see if they can, you know, if they need to buy food next, if something out of the blue comes and they need to pay a certain bill. If uh, their electric company says, you know what, we can't take this anymore, you have to pay something right now, then they say, okay, I can pay you $100 rather than paying you the full amount. So they continue to try and push things along and inch their way forward to getting out of this hole. But they're not going to spend everything. People aren't stupid. Let me know what you think about this. Obviously, um, as a person that may want a stimulus check, you're not someone that will criticize it at all because it's money that comes from the government. I feel like this should have came every single month. The fact that they shut businesses down means that you have to have some sort of income. They should be paying your income, but it doesn't make sense um, why they choose not to. I, I don't understand it. Yeah, let me know what you think. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, make sure you uh, get your free stocks with Webull down below. Also check out some of the links, um, the credit card links, my X1 credit card link as well. Um, but that's my video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next one.